Although men dominated every aspect of cultural and artistic refinement in the Renaissance, female patronage found a strong presence in many women such as Diane de Poitiers, Marie de Medici, and Catherine de Medici. Catherine de Medici was a member of the notable Medici family and Queen of France in the middle of the 16th century through her marriage to King Henry II. After the death of her husband, she used her position as Queen Regent to promote royal prestige through cultural revitalization. As Queen Regent of France, she focused royal finances on modernizing the society by bringing cultural and humanist aspirations of the Italian Renaissance to France through numerous art commissions. Catherine also believed her royal patronage in bringing such high-end culture to France would help regain respect for the declining Valois monarchy. In doing so, Catherine believed the humanist ideals focused on classical antiquity that were revived in Italy would bring this same focus on human advancement to French society. Her many commissions included portraits, embroidered fabrics, pieces of jewelry, and her greatest passion, architecture. Her greatest love as a patron was commissioning new designs for grand architecture. For the majority of her projects, such as the saint maur des Fossés, Catherine de' Medici supervised the construction of them personally to make sure they were completed to her liking. This inclination to architecture over other art forms is most likely due to the family in which she was born. As a daughter of the Medici, she was driven by a passion to build and a desire to leave great achievements behind her when she died. She also wanted to create memorials for her late husband, King Henry II. Though she spent her marriage in the demeaning position of second place to King Henry II's mistress, Diane de Poitiers, Catherine was still indebted to Henry. She advanced the state of French architecture and of sculpture with the unfinished Valois Chapel memorial to her husband. Creating memorials for her husband in the form of architecture, she demonstrated her political awareness of how her response to King Henry II's death would be viewed by the public, and in turn reflect her capability to effectively rule the country without him. As an Italian noblewoman who was the Queen Regent of France, Catherine de' Medici held some political influence over the country thanks to her sons who later came to rule. With this strong influence over the arts and moral education brought to France during the second half of the 16th century, Catherine was aware of the disadvantages she had due to her gender. Even so, she demonstrated the capacity of a ruler to affect change in their society through exposure to and education in new methods of art, literature, science, and communication. To integrate the Italian Renaissance into 16th century French society, Catherine de Medici needed to first bring master painters, sculptors, and architects from Florence to France to provide the proper instruction and cultural inspiration for the effective transition. Coming from Florence to France, these master artists and architects gave those of France their first-hand experience of the cultural and intellectual development of the Renaissance on the methodology used in the sciences, arts, politics, and even self-awareness. As a female patron, it was important for Catherine to take the necessary procedures when she introduced new systems to the public. Art patrons demonstrated intellectual authority over visual symbols desired by the public that catered to current art movements, and they demonstrated the financial freedom to actually commission works and not just critique them. This notion of the Renaissance patron, even if they were a woman, contradicted views in a patriarchal society that believed women were incapable of producing, promoting, or patronizing anything involving creativity. However, as Queen Regent of France, with the finances to fulfill her numerous commissions, both female and male patrons readily accepted Catherine de Medici's patronage. Catherine exhibited this awareness of the effect of visual symbols and how they catered to art movements to help educate the designated society. Thanks to her relations with Florence through her Medici family line, who were well known for their connections to great feats in architecture, such as the dome covering the Florence Cathedral engineered by Filippo Brunelleschi in 1436, Catherine maintained personal and political ties with the city of Florence during her reign as queen. During the 30 years that Catherine de' Medici was patronizing and promoting art and architecture of the Renaissance in the 16th century, she commissioned paintings, sculptures, and large works of architecture by both male and female artists, all demonstrating her capability as a competent female ruler. Even though she demonstrated all of this power by spending royal finances on high art, the true influential capability of noble women was hard to analyze because it was obscured by institutional powerlessness. As a female patron, Catherine realized she would be placed under scrutiny. However, she also knew that she would be capable of performing the role because she was the queen regent and had male heirs who gave her the power she needed. Without this inherent distinction between men and women, men being creatively superior and women unable to comprehend the justification behind this difference, Catherine would have received more approval from her male critics and contemporaries for the cultural advancement she was implementing. 
Even so, during her reign, she demonstrated the capacity of a ruler to affect change in their society through exposure to and education in new methods of art, literature, science, and communication.